another interlude. Mm -hmm. Um, This is... This actually has, like, thick substance to it. I'll tell you all the times I wish I could die, one of your many references to death, (laughs) and if anybody f***s with you, they f*** with me, so if anybody f***s with you, I'll knock their teeth out. (laughs) (laughs) I'm with you. Right? (laughs) Have you actually fought somebody before? I've never fought anyone. One time I stabbed a kid in the leg with a pencil. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and le- and I was in the sixth grade. I was, there was this guy who was my, my middle school bully. His nickname to me was Greasy because he had the greasiest hair. Boy, never took a shower. Um, he did not know what a shower was. And he was so mean. He was so mean to me. And so one day I was sitting in choir class and he was like, doing something that was like hurting me he was like i don't know twisting my wrist or something so i got a pencil i like sharpened number two pencil and stabbed him in the thigh and it literally went into his thigh also i was a sixth grader violence is not the answer guys as a sixth grader i thought it was the answer stabbed him in the leg the 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 thing is though it was really a smart move on my part because he couldn't tell the teacher that i'd stabbed him in the leg with a pencil because he was trying to break my wrist yes and i'm like so, You're, what are you going to tell them? Oh, I was trying to break Conan Gray's wrist and then he stabbed me with a pencil. You know, it's like, so he just had to deal with the fact that he had like had a pencil in his leg. Self-defense. <laughs> it was self-defense. I, hey. But I, I will fight someone who hurts my friends. Always. But That's it's never happened. A good friend. I'm, I mean, I've been like, y- yo, back, back the f- off. <laughs> like, I will ruin your life. For sure. I can't believe you stabbed a man with a pencil. <laughs> Have you seen Greasy? Are you surprised? Like, are you surprised that <laughs> no. I stabbed someone with a pencil? I don't think you should be surprised. Not at all. No. Have you seen Greasy in a while? I haven't seen Greasy. <gasps> what? I actually know something about Greasy. Greasy really did not go down a good route in life. But I do know that he did end up in jail by the time I was in high school. For what, stabbing someone with a pencil? No, it, I don't know if I should say this. Just like, he just like, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, he just really didn't, um, he just was a really mean person, which makes me really wonder, like, I wonder if, I don't think he was, like, okay at home and things. I, I really wonder, like, I wish I could, like, talk to him and see how he's doing, because it seems, I mean, it's sad. Oh, wow. You want to reconcile with your bully, who's walked down the wrong path in life? Yeah, I mean, it's like, no one, no, like, seven seventh grader is just like naturally mean mm-hmm. totally it's there- always retaliation to something and there's a reason behind yeah. that type of stuff yeah and so I, I i wonder you know it's like no like i grew up in a bad situation and there were definitely times when i was just aggressive for no reason and it's like uh, i don't yeah i don't really know i mean it's, it's like stabbing someone in the leg is not a, <laughs> a reasonable way to react to, to stuff but it, yeah it's like it's a t- it's life is tough you never know the full the full story of anyone ever. You, you should never stab somebody in the leg with a pencil. It's Don't stab someone in the leg. Knock their teeth out. Knock their teeth out. That's a different answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like if you're mean to my friends, like I'll knock your teeth out. 